Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Today on 5 Minutes in the Word, I want us to turn to 1 Kings chapter 18 and start in verse 20. That's 1 Kings chapter 18, starting in verse 20. And I want us to consider today how we consider God, how we think about God, uh, how important is He in our life. 1 Kings chapter 18, starting in verse 20, reads this. So Ahab sent for all the children of Israel and gathered, to get, gathered the prophets together on Mount Carmel. And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you, uh, you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people answered him not a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. I want us to consider this as we start looking at this text today, that here you have the children of Israel and they were having a, a choice put before them. Are you going to serve God? Uh, the true God of heaven, or are you going to serve uh, Baals? And I, I go after this false worship of Baal worship. Um, these people had this choice to make in their life. And obviously, the majority of people around uh, are going to be going after Baal worship. In fact, it goes on in verse 22 and said there are 450 of uh, these prophets of Baal. So this is a large majority of people. They're going to be going after Baal worship. And this is a great temptation in their time. We have different types of temptation in our time. But really, it all comes back to this. Are you going to serve God or are you going to serve this world? And so it's the same kind of thing that people back then had to deal with that we're dealing with today. So I want that to kind of set into your brain for a moment and start thinking about that as we continue going through this text. Because in every moment of every day, we have a choice. Are we going to serve God or are we going to serve this world? So going on with our text there in verse 23, it says, Therefore, let them give us two bulls and let them choose one bull for themselves, cut it in pieces and lay it it on the wood and put no fire under it. And I will prepare the other bull and lay it on the wood and put no fire under it. Then you call in the name of your gods and I will call in the name of the Lord uh, and the God who answers by fire. He is God. So all the people answered and said, uh, it is well spoken. So here, these prophets of Baal and Elijah, they're going to be put to a test. Whose God is going to answer? Whose God is going to consume uh, this altar, this sacrifice uh, that is there? And we can read this entire text, uh, but for a second time, we're not going to do that. But just to kind of summarize, as you come down through this, you're going to see the prophets of Baal do everything they possibly can to try to convince their false God, uh, th this Baal, uh, to try to convince their God to consume this altar, to consume this sacrifice, to burn this up. They cry louder and louder and they meditate and they do all kinds of things and to the point that they're even cutting themselves. Uh, they're doing all kinds of things to try to draw attention and honestly, Elijah is just poking fun at them the entire time, but it does not matter. No matter what they do, there is nothing they can do that is going to cause this altar, this sacrifice uh, to be consumed. But then it was Elijah's turn. And Elijah not only had the altar built and the sacrifice laid upon it, but had it doused. I mean, just consumed in water. And then the God of heaven, well, he acted. And the God of heaven consumed this sacrifice and all of it. He just consumed it up with fire. Now we think about this, that here is a true, you know, life, you know, instance in which God himself was, you know, being compared to the Baals, but compared to worship of this world. And God was proven time and time again that he is the one and true God. And so just like the people here uh, of Israel in this day, uh, just like the people in the days of Joshua and so many others, we have to choose every single day who we are going to serve. Are we going to serve God? Are we going to serve the one true God of heaven? Are we going to serve this world? and the things this world has to offer. If we look into scripture, we can see what this world has to offer is a path that leads to destruction. But what God has to offer is a path that leads to eternal life with him forever. And that's the path that I hope each one of us are on today and will continue on today, living life pleasing for him. And so like Elijah, like the people in the days of Joshua, let's choose God.